welcome back to another awesome moto vlog. Before I get into this install of the Prinzu roof rack, I want to take a moment to do the drawing for the May shirt giveaway. Now as I mentioned in the last vlog, I'm going to be giving away a t-shirt every month to a subscriber. So let's go ahead and do the drawing and see who this month's winner is. So congratulations. Thank you so much for being a subscriber of the channel. I'll be reaching out to you to coordinate shipping addresses to try to get you that shirt as soon as possible. So for everyone else, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in getting entered into these t-shirt giveaways, not only will I be giving away t-shirts, but I'll be doing some giveaways of products for your GX. So click that subscribe button down below if you're interested in getting entered in any of these drawings. And thank you to everybody who's already a subscriber. I appreciate all of the support. All right, so let's just get into today's video. As I hinted in the last vlog, we've got the Prinzu roof rack delivered, and I'm going to be replacing the OEM roof rack with the Prinzu one. The OEM roof rack has held up pretty nice. I actually don't really have too many complaints with it. In a previous video, I took the roof rack apart and I sprayed it with a truck bed liner, and that truck bed liner has held up really well, and I kind of like the way it looks in black. The coating held up strong, especially with hauling kayaks on the roof. I had many scenarios where I've rubbed kayaks along the side of the roof rails, and I had no issues with any of the paint coming off, so if you're going the budget route, the truck bed liner is definitely a good route to go and I have a video documenting how to do that. But I couldn't help myself when I saw Prinzu had a spring sale, I think it was maybe 15 or 20% off. I decided I wanted to finally go ahead and get a legitimate roof rack so that I could have some wind deflection up front. And I also went ahead and got the cutout for the LED light bar. So I can put the lost fit light bar into the roof rack and avoid those magnetic mounts. Alright, so I'm excited about this Prinzu roof rack. This looks like the rubber trim piece that I see that goes on the bottom of the wind deflector. Here we've got the wind deflector that I was talking about. It's got a nice laser cut Prinzu logo in it. And what these cutouts are for, these are the cutouts for the 42 inch light bar. So I'm going to be putting that lost fit light bar in place. Have a nice secure place to mount it. Other than those pieces, we got some rails in here that go across the middle. Uh, it looks like this is the light bar mounting kit that I ordered with this. And then we've got a bag full of hardware for mounting. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and take off the OEM roof rack and clean the roof. So what I did is once I had the roof rack off, I went in, I cleaned the entire roof and I cleaned all of the grooves where the previous roof rack was. There's a lot of gunk and buildup in there so I used a degreaser, cleaned out all the tracks and made sure that everything in there was clean. So now at this point we're ready to start the install. There's a couple of different things here that come with this roof rack. So one of the bags that we have will have some bolts, some spacers and some washers. And these are going to be for mounting the main side rails. The next bag you have is you'll have some Torx bolts and some washers as well. And what these are for is these are for mounting the rails that go horizontally across the center of the vehicle. The next bag you'll have is some Phillips head bolts and washers. You'll also have these threaded style plates. Uh, it's a plate with a thread that these Phillips head screws thread into. And this will be for mounting up that front wind deflector. And the last bag of hardware that you should have is these nice tie downs. So these tie downs are great. They have a little flat groove in here on this bolt. And what that does is it locks into the tracking of the roof rack. And then you thread that in to this hook. And the last bag of hardware that I have that some may not, uh, this is the hardware for mounting up the LED light bar 
So if you did not go with the LED cutout option, you will not have this extra bag. Uh, but it looks like there's just two brackets here and that'll mount up to the wind deflector for mounting the lost fit light bar. All right, so my personal plan of attack for installing this is I think what I want to do is I want to install these sidebars. I think once these sidebars are up, it'll give me the ability to line things up properly uh, with these starting as the anchor point. All right, so I have the hardware laid out here and all you need for these sidebars is you need the larger silver bolts, the washer, and then the spacers. So what we'll do is we'll go up there, we'll put a spacer down first, we'll thread the bolt and washer through the roof rack piece, through the spacer, and then thread that into the factory holes that are already on the roof. So we'll do this on both sides, get both side plates mounted, and then we'll worry about the horizontal braces from there. want to talk about the spacers there is a set of spacers that are taller and what you want to do is you want to use the taller spacers in the rear here and what that does is it gives you just a tad bit more clearance so you're not rubbing on the spoiler here so if you're assembling this on the roof the way I am you're gonna to want to keep those side rails slightly loose so we can go ahead and install uh, these crossbars so these crossbars here they have uh, two threaded holes on each side. Uh, you also have these top slots here so that we can put those anchor points in. So what I recommend doing is keeping the side rails loose and we'll go ahead and we'll put a few of these crossbars in and get everything lined up and then we'll tighten down and put the rest of everything in. Once you get a few of these bars in place, I say go through and plan out how you want them spaced and go through install the rest of those bars. I think what I plan to do is centering up except for this back brace have that as far back as possible uh, but everything else going through and centering up at each of these more horizontal longer holes so that I have some adjustability. All right, so once you have all the cross members in the place you'd like them, I tightened them down, and what I did is once I had everything tightened down, that gave me ability to move the entire roof rack, and that gave me the ability to shimmy things up from side to side and make sure everything's square and even. So now that I have everything squared up and even, the last thing you wanna do is go through back to these main bolts, and you wanna torque those down and make sure everything's tight. All right, so the next thing we're gonna add is the wind deflector. The wind deflector mounts to an unpainted silver uh, cross member. And what this gets mounted to is it mounts directly with the Phillips head bolts with a washer. And then there's this plate that gets slid in here. So the easiest way to go about installing this is you go through and you install all of the Phillips head bolts and you put the plate on the back and just lightly thread it in. Make sure you thread these in just a couple of threads because we need some space to slide this into the crossbar. All right, so now that you have these bolts in, what we're gonna do is keep them all pointed the same direction. And we're gonna take this crossbar, we're gonna line it up. We're just gonna slide everything into place. Let me slide that in, just go to the next one, line them up. So now, once you have that into place, just line up your edges and tighten down the screws. Alright, so once you have those screws installed, you want to take this rubber trim piece and you want to just line it up with the edges and it just clicks right in around the bottom of the plate here. And you just kind of follow that curvature of the wind deflector. 
All right, so once you have that into place, there may be a little bit of extra material, so you just want to go through and cut the trim piece with a pair of scissors. And then put it back on to put into place. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mount up the Lost Fit light bar. As you can tell, it took quite the beating. Uh, I made a short on this and posted it on YouTube so that you guys can check it out. I think it's very impressive that this light bar survived a 90 mile an hour uh, drop test off of a vehicle. So this thing went toppling through multiple lanes of traffic and took on quite a bit of damage on the corners. Uh, but it held up strong. It still works. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. We have just one or two areas where the paint is scuffed, so I think I'll probably eventually touch that paint up. But for now, it's some battle scars that I want to show off uh, on the vehicle, so I'm not even going to bother doing that. Uh, I want to go ahead and mount that up to this wind deflector. <clears throat> Alright, so this hardware that comes with the roof rack for mounting up the LED bar is pretty cool. What you do is, on the top here, you have this bracket, which mounts like this. There are two holes in the bottom here, and that allows it to bolt in. And then once that's in place, uh, it gives you some ability here with these bolts. You can slide things left and right and get it lined up. So the one thing you want to do here is I noticed there are some bolts here with a square cutout. So I think I'm just going to slide those into place. And they just hold into this tracking system that's right here. Hopefully you can see this. So just kind of slide these into place here. I'm going to put two in there, and then this bracket, just line it up, and then there's a washer, and then a nut on here. Alright, there we go. So there it is. It's our wind deflector plate. I'm really liking the Prenzu logo that's cut into the metal. That's going to be on the passenger side of the vehicle. Now I left the light bar. Uh, just kind of loose for now because I'm not quite sure what the angle the deflector is going to sit at. So let's go mount the deflector up and then we'll adjust the position here on the light bar and get the right angle. Alright, so I went ahead and I adjusted the angle here on the light bar and what you want to do for adjusting that is you just want to make sure the light is projecting out ahead of you. The one mistake a lot of people do is they have it pointing too far down and they get glare off of their hood and it blinds them. So what you want to do is you want to have that tilted up and illuminating the road ahead of you. Uh, so make sure you don't get any glaring off of the hood. Once I got to that point and I was satisfied with the angle, I tightened up these bolts up here. Overall I've been getting really excited while installing this. The quality of this roof rack is awesome. Uh, I really like the way it looks. Hopefully this wind deflector is a lot better for wind noise. Uh, I used to have that basket up there. Actually, I have it over here against the wall. I used to have that basket over there uh, against the wall. I had that basket with the OEM roof rack and it was noisy. So I'm really hoping that this wind deflector here deflects a lot of the wind. I'm slightly worried about this pocket here and if there's going to be some weird whistling noises from that. Another area of my concern with wind noise is I was wondering if this being, you know, this gap right here being what it is, if that's going to cause any wind noise. I went ahead and just centered these up in every single one of the uh, longer slots. I just centered up a bar in each of those. One thing you want to watch out for is over tightening these torque bolts. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got a slight issue here. Uh, I think I'm going to go through and drill and tap that out and replace that. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, but just watch out. Those are not the greatest quality uh, torque bolts. And they will snap on you. They snapped on me fairly easily. And I just want to let everybody know, kind of watch out for that. All right, so we'll take these tie down points and we'll just add these. I've already added them to all four corners of the vehicle, but I wanted to show installing the last one so you know kind of what to do, how this mechanism works. Alright, so you have this 
bolt here with a square uh, fitting in it so that'll fit into the tracking and then you add a washer and to the top of that you add this uh, tie down point so that's threaded and it just threads right in. So I got all four tie downs, one in each corner, and those are pretty straightforward. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with those yet. Um, obviously you use them for tying down luggage or whatever you have up on top of the roof here, but I personally tend to do either surfboards or kayaks, so I don't know what I'll use them for right now, but I'm going to put one in each of the four corners and just kind of assess how I might use them in the future. So overall I'm a huge fan of the roof rack. Right now, it's just aesthetic things that I like about it and the features it has, but the real test here is figuring out how much wind noise it really has. So I'm gonna go drive around with this for a few days and we'll come back after that and I'll give you a full review of what I think of the roof rack. All right, so I've been driving around with the Prinzu roof rack on the GX for about a week now. And I'd say that my top three features are that number one is there is extremely low wind noise. Compared to the basket that I had on there, it is a night and day difference. It is much quieter. And I'd say that this is actually very comparable to the OEM roof rack. Number two is the price point and the features. There are plenty of other options out there as far as roof racks go, but this one has all of the same features that I was looking for and also had a great price point. And lastly, the third one is actually a feature of having the light bar cutout and mounting option. Although this feature may seem minor to most people, it was a big selling point for me with the Lost Fit light bar. I think it finally gives the Lost Fit light bar a good place to call home. All right, well that about does it for today's video. Also, if you're not a subscriber and you like GX470 content, hit that subscribe button down below. It not only gets you updated every time I upload new videos, but it now gets you entered in for monthly shirt giveaways. All right, well, I'm going to end things here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.